If you want to succeed in your life and in your content business, you need a specific and measurable plan. Let's talk about it. Hi, I'm Joe Polizzi, and welcome to the Content Inc. Podcast, episode 461. I ran two years of track in high school. My event was the 1600 meters or the mile, and I had a goal written down that I worked toward for months, break the five minute mile. My final race of the year was sectionals. I gave it all I had. I crossed the finish line and then ran to the timekeeper. It read five minutes on the dot. One hundredth of a second faster, I would have made my goal of something in the range of 459. Now I didn't accomplish my goal, but I came pretty darn close and I did all the right things during that journey. The process of creating a goal and writing it down and reviewing it became a cornerstone for everything that I did, both personally and professionally. When my wife and I started our business in 2007, it took me about nine months to come up with a goal that really made sense. In January of 2008, that goal read, I sell my company for at least $15 million in 2015. I read that goal nearly every day which helped me make the proper decisions to position us for a sale like that. Now, by the way, we didn't achieve our goal in 2015. It happened in 2016. The reason I'm telling you this is that I talk to content creators and entrepreneurs all the time, and hardly any of them have a big goal or exit strategy. A lot of them are just doing things. They have newsletters and YouTube channels and Instagram. They're creating lots of content, and most of them want to have a financially sustainable business. But this goal setting process is pretty important and everyone seems to be doing it wrong. So let's set some aspirational goals, what Jim Collins would call BHAGs or big, hairy, audacious goals from his book, Built to Last and Good to Great. Here's what Collins says about BHAGs. A true BHAG is clear and compelling and serves as a unifying focal point of effort, often creating immense team spirit. It has a clear finish line so the organization can know when it has achieved the goal. People like to shoot for finish lines. A BHAG engages people. It reaches out and grabs them in the gut. It is tangible, energizing, highly focused. People get it right away. It takes little or no explanation. You need a big goal, an important goal, something you are passionate about and something that can be measured and finished. I remember thinking about my goals when I started getting into content marketing. I often said our goal was to be the leading informational expert on the practice of content marketing. Now, the problem was you can't measure that. And what's the timetable? Now, let's not think about exit planning. I found that it's a bit overwhelming for people. Let's just think about being financially sustainable. What does being financially sustainable look like for your content business? How much revenue or profit do you need? How many customers do you need? And then put it in the present tense. I generate $200,000 in revenue with my podcast in 2025. Some other goals, maybe. I run a 159 marathon in 2025. I do 100 consecutive push-ups in 2025. I publish my crime novel in March of 2025. Now, you're probably doing some truly amazing things but you might not be creating BHAGs, writing them down and reviewing them consistently. Let's change that for good. If you'd like more of this kind of information from me, please go to joepolizzi.com and subscribe to my Orange Letter newsletter. When you subscribe, you'll get both my goal setting guide and financial diversification guide after you sign up. This is Joe Polizzi. Remember, success in content comes from consistency, creativity, and community. Keep creating, keep connecting, and we'll see you next Monday. Stay inspired. Mm -hmm.